And then the confusion starts, and if they are on time, connect with other people, like myself or others, okay, can you help me a bit, and set up a new model, then they will break that ceiling. If they're not, they go back or go bankrupt. We also see that. They could potentially make some very radical decisions as well, though. If people get frustrated, they do the wrong things most of the time. The Dutch cloud community, they have reached out to you to do that. You've, you've done that in the past, right? Is that the same thing as SalesPulse does? Because that is your company. Yeah, it is something that SalesPulse could do and does do. Eh? We, we, we help organizations with the growth. In my days, I have to be honest about that. At the moment, if we had 10 million, it's like moving to a place like this, buying a boat and a second wife. And, uh, and another uh, a competitor uh, refused to do that. So no, no we, wanna, we, can, we can help you with huge impact, pa, 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 elevated pitch, and they, they lost the deal. Today, I think there's still, uh, there's still a large team. I think at a certain moment, there were like 600 people working from out of India for that insurance company, years and years and years and years and years. Welcome, so today we are in Kunschmer. Uh It's not where you live, you are from the Netherlands. It is my dad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so great to see you again. How have you been? Good, good, good thanks. Yeah. Mm. Oh, could you, uh, yeah, very good. Uh, could you tell me, tell us, uh, what is it that you do? Actually, a couple of things yeah. at the same time. It might be confusing for some people, but I love it. Uh, one, I am the managing director of the Dutch cloud community. Uh, I am, I also am the owner of Sales Pills. It's an organization that boosts the, the, the sales team mostly of an organization in order to make them grow. Mm -hmm. I am uh, an investor in several organizations, sometimes in shares, sometimes in money, sometimes in time, depending on. I am a teacher uh, in uh, in our growth, and uh, I am doing some things as an ambassador for the <laughs> Stichting Papageno for right. people with autism. Great, so a lot of things. Etc. <laughs> et <cetera>. et <laughs> <laughs> List goes on. Can we zoom in on one of those subjects, uh, yeah. starting with what is it that you do for the Dutch cloud community? Well, the Dutch cloud community, as the name says, is a community with uh, it's all sorts of organizations which are connected to internet, hosting, etc., uh, etc. Et sometimes data centers as well. Mm -hmm. And what we do is, in fact, two things. Uh, one is we bring them together, so we set up events for them. Yeah. And the other thing is that we communicate uh, on their behalf uh, to the, the politics and to the, uh, to the, uh, to the press. And we give them back the feedback that comes there. So we we represent them in a way, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very successful successful uh, group of, of of organizations. But they want to grow because the more members you have, the more power you have in the market, the more people will, will will be able to to hear your voice. So what I do, I am the managing director. I am structuring your organization in order to make them grow and to uh, make sure that we can better represent represent the uh, the members. Yeah. And um, what is it that the um, Dutch cloud community, they have reached out to you to do that? You've, you've done that in the past, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So is that the same thing as SalesPulse does? Because that is your company. Yeah, it is something that SalesPulse could do and does do. Eh? Right. It, it, we, we, we help organizations with the growth. I'm the growth guy, as I call it sometimes a stage name. <laughs> and uh, so that's why they, they approach to me, to reach out to me and help them with the growth. And what I do there is, in fact, I structure because I think sales and growth is a structure thing and not an artist thing. It's more a way of structured working than to improvise all the time. And uh, with that structure, mostly you get there with the growth. Mm. Nine and, out of can you tell me what, what does that kind of structure look like? Is that? Yeah, sure. Is that mm. a relatively universal type of structure or is it? In a way, you, you need your tailor-made bespoke thing, of course, but at the other hand, it, it's always the same. It begins with uh, what they call an, 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 a B-hack, a big area audacious goal, some, some where, something where you want to go, where you want to be in a couple of years from now. Mm -hmm. Ten years is perhaps a little bit too much, but take a look in the next three years. Yeah. Yeah? Is there something, a point, a vision, a dream that you have where you want to be? And if you agree with the shareholders, and later on with the team of the organization about where you, what that dream is, then you can set up one empowerment in order to make everybody aware and, and, and a part of that journey. And the other, you can also yeah, set up uh, a couple of appointments, agreements. Okay, this is the way we are going to work. Mm -hmm. And then you can help them with getting there. So they will they have to be aware of where they want to go and you have to agree on that. 
and then you can add tools, things, tricks, uh, advice, uh, experience in order to uh, to get there. Mm. That part is always the same in every organization. Yeah, and so they've kind of hired you to facilitate them during that process to get them from where they are today to what they want to achieve. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, right. Yeah. correct. Yeah, and how would you determine if that is a company that you can actually help? Because I can imagine if you um, apply those principles and those type of structures, any type of business could, in theory, grow. In theory, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a mix of things. And uh, it's not a 100% thing, of course, because otherwise, otherwise uh, everybody would do it, of course. <laughs> but I think the most important part is the shareholder slash owner slash founder slash CEO. Um, you need to have somebody who has hardly any ego. That helps. <laughs> Very <laughs> and, awesome. <It's> fun, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially in the beginning of the career, it's, it's difficult because... What I see a lot in, in the internet industry, for example, in the hosting and the cloud industry, is that uh, young uh, executives like yourself, very successful, uh, like yourself, uh, very arrogant, not like yourself. <laughs> uh, and uh, and they, they, they happened to, 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 to make it in like 10 years, over the past 10 years. And then they reach a point, a sort, sort of a ceiling, and they found out that it's difficult to break through that ceiling because you need another approach than the previous approach of that early stage. And mostly uh, they have to fire one or two or three commercial directors, uh, number twos, and, and then they find out from, hmm, maybe it's not those guys that I had fired, but it, maybe it's also a little bit me. Hmm. And then they open up for another model. And then they are more open to work with somebody like me who comes from another generation, who brings in another uh, um, a way of working, aware of the way that they are working. And then you start mixing with that because they are successful, they are doing a brilliant job. But if they add some structure and they add some other things, then we can make that, uh, that, uh, that leapfrog uh, most yeah. of the time. Uh, so th the most important thing is in that first conversation, is it an individual? that is willing to share a vision or to build up a vision or have a vision? And is he aware of the fact that he, only him is not enough to make that grow? Hmm. Yeah, because there are um, different things to what a certain individual wants and what they can achieve to what a company needs yeah. uh, and requires to break through a certain barrier. Yeah. Uh, and what, what does that uh, kind of ceiling look like? Is that... Uh, related to growth uh, in, in terms of numbers, in terms revenue, of revenue? Yeah, or revenue, revenue. yeah. They grow from like or? zero to like five million or 10 million, and the next year it's 11, and the next year it's 10 and a half, okay. and then it's nine, and then it's 11, and then, and so the, the, there Stagnates. is that point, yeah, there's that, that ceiling. And, then, and and they don't get it because in the beginning they were so successful and everything went so well, and everybody was impressed, but for some reason they don't get there. The people like, um, some others say, um, it, if you want to make a growth, if you want to have a constant growth, scale up uh, all the time, you need different management models in every uh, phase. Mm -hmm. And that is very confusing for people because it worked so well the last three years. I was so successful the last five years. It was always et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then the confusion starts. And if they die on time and connect with other people like myself or others, okay, can you help me a bit and set up a new model? Then they will break that ceiling. If they're not, they go back or go ba bankrupt. You also see that. All right. Yeah. If, so it, it if, if it doesn't work, they get frustrated yeah. and they can lose the organization. Yeah. yeah. They could potentially make some very radical decisions as well. Though. So, yeah. Then, yeah. If people get frustrated, they do yeah, the yeah. wrong things yeah. most of the time. Yeah. 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 And what could it look like if you would help so what's um so I, let's say i'm stuck at that 10 million mark yeah 10 or 11 million mark my organization is not growing it's not it's doing okay but um, yeah. i kind of come to the realization that i can't do it myself i call you what happens yeah what happens is that we are trying to find out perhaps without you knowing that 
if, if you are open for a, 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 a corporation, are you willing to work together with me? Really working because you yeah. give me all the bullshit bingo uh, with, with the nice words, but I will try to find out is he really on that track? Yeah. What happened before? Mm. Is it experience? It, it, what, <laughs> lots of entrepreneurs, unfortunately, mostly CEOs, they go on holiday for two weeks to France, they read a book about some sort of guru, and they are coming back and everything will be different from now on. <laughs> and everybody not not read that book. Huh? So, well, so well, okay, okay. <laughs> you changed. Not gonna happen. <laughs> but no one yeah, else did. Not gonna yeah. happen. Um, so you need to make sure from is, 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 is this person really open to get there? Mm. So they can, Sometimes they can explain it in one meeting, but it's good if you have two or three meetings about it. Get to know each other a little bit better, understand the real uh, the, the, the real why. One of those another cliche yeah. words, of From course. Simon, Simon, yeah, Simon right, Sinek, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And brilliant, without a doubt. But uh, does he really understand the why? Is there really a why? Is it a why that he, because of that two weeks vacation in the book, or is there a real why? Mm. Um, and um, if the, if that feels good, then you start crafting, in fact, the vision, the dream. A vision like in, in is it something like, where do you want to be? And then you can combine that with the, 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 the why. Is that connected? Uh, and then you see if there is a difference between dreaming and, and, and really eagerness to, to get there. Can you connect those dots? Yeah. And then you see what he has at the moment. What kind of organization is there? One of my favorite questions is, who is your number two? And if there's silence <laughs> and uh, nobody, then we have a problem. So we can then, then this yeah. person is not able to connect, to trust, to share. Yeah. To, uh, because so, you really need that. Yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry. We'll fill, but it's one of the biggest challenges then that you have yeah. to fix to make sure that he is open or she is open for a, a, a number two in the yeah. organization. All those questions and those two, three conversations lead to the point of, okay, yeah, I think I feel comfortable. And then you can start crafting about a deal. Yeah. Would you like me to join you as a chief commercial or chief revenue officer for, for full time for two years? Or would you like me to share some thoughts every month eh, in, in a dinner or a lunch or whatever? Mm. So that is the part where I start, yeah, uh, trying to find if I can fit it in the rest of my schedule uh, to add value to this uh, to this organization. Yeah. And sometimes it is then part-time, sometimes it's with the money, sometimes it's with shares, and sometimes it's full-time. Yeah. Whatever they want and whatever we think it's, uh, it's a good fit at the moment for that organization. Yeah. And when you start applying that, um, as you said, that try to engage or empower people in that vision? Yeah. How would you do that? Yeah, you could say that the only thing that an executive should do, yeah. a real executive should do, is define the point at the horizon where the organization has to be in a couple of years and explain that, translate that to the organization. Okay. This is where we are going. Yeah. And then you could say, from, okay, and now we take it from there. Now it's up to you who is willing, eager, able to help me to get there. That's what you call empowerment. <laughs> And the more you get away from the daily business, micromanagement, and the more you are able to say, okay, guys, are we on this track? The more, um, uh, the higher the percentage is that you will be successful. Yeah. Uh, so you're trying to find out, can we, do we have the right people uh, in combination with that, uh, with that vision, with that dream to uh, give them the empowerment because then you have a team instead of one or two individuals trying to get there. Yeah. So if that works, that's the fun part. In fact, then you can start uh, working in teams and okay, then you will be responsible for this. You will be responsible for this. Can you guys come up with a plan for that? And then suddenly you have a team with 10, 20, 30 people enthusiastically working together on a, on a mutual goal. Yeah. And do teams usually stay on board or is it a, a big shift in the... Um, yeah, the it's, it's easy. The easiest way is to kick out everybody and, 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 and set up a new team. Yeah. And that is what you always try to avoid. Yeah. Because the best thing that you can do is to keep everybody in the team and, and boost them a bit. Yeah? 
not only boost the organization or the revenue or the shares, but also the, the, the team, because then they will feel that impact. Then will grab, they, they, they will love to work and they will feel, okay, wow, I'm growing here. But sometimes <laughs> you have that one or two individuals who are really not able to make that, that move uh, yeah. or not willing. And then you have to decide to, to, to do something about it. Your first loss is always the, the smallest. Trust me. Is it? <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. If you, you will know it after a few conversations or maybe after one conversation that there's a problem with somebody. And if you find out that this person is not willing to change, you'll we'll have to get rid of him. Yeah. Like, can you give a more specific example of something that you experienced without naming uh, this yeah. person's name? But... Yeah, the, the, fun, the fun example is what, what my, 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 my friend of mine calls the, the, the prison example. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment you step into prison and if there's this huge guy, go to him, yeah. kick him, and then you're safe for a couple of months. But in fact, that's, that's the same in, in some organizations. Uh, I, I had, I, in fact, there are several uh, examples, but if you, uh, I can recall on when were I, we, we did everything like the, the, the vision, the, the, the dream, the empowerment, the teams, and then you start checking, okay, Joshua, we agreed that you would do this. How is the progress? And this person, let's call him Joshua, <laughs> random name, of course, <laughs> it's a, yeah, I'm not sure. And they want to go back to that dream. I'm not sure if that's the right dream. That happened a couple of times. And then you have to be very direct from, okay, but we agreed this, you agreed that, didn't happen, sorry. And it's like a last chance. So I've done that a couple of times, unfortunately, over the years, like three times, 15 years, but it's okay, but, yeah. but still. And then she said, okay, sorry, but not gonna happen. We will find another solution for you. Yeah. And most of the times, I think in all those cases, in all those cases, you can say, from, okay, after a while, they say, okay, yeah, you were right. It's, it's good that we had that open conversation and it was better for me to, uh, to leave. If you don't do that, and that's what I experienced uh, a couple of years ago, let's call it vaguely, huh? uh, then, then you're screwed because those one or two individuals will group together uh, will 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 start their own yeah, uh, organization. In fact, their their team within the team, mm -hmm. and they will yeah they will get the time to start to con con yeah convince others from maybe it's not a good idea. It wasn't everything was better five years ago. And why are we doing all this crazy yeah. stuff now? And 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 then it's not going to happen to change. Yeah, tough lesson, but it happens. It happens. It seems so easy, though, if you think about it rationally. I mean, you want to go to a better place, so just co cooperate. But it doesn't work that way, obviously. But yeah, everybody wants to talk about change. Yeah, but, but they don't want to change. change. Yeah. They don't want to change. But that's true. It's not something that we come up with. It's something that has been proven over the years. Yeah, and people hate it when they have to change. Yeah. Everybody wants to quit smoking. Everyone wants to stop sports, you know, with exercise. I'm going to lose 20 yeah. pounds. But at the moment, <laughs> that's <laughs> your Yeah, yeah. Then it's tough. Then yeah. it's tough. Yeah. And uh, could you give me an example of a uh, very successful project that you've done? I mean, you've done multiple. Yeah, I've known you for quite yeah. a bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. And there would be too arrogant, of course. Yeah. Um, no, but could you give an example of a, a project that worked really well, where yeah, you have to find yeah. those clear objectives, yeah. where you achieved it, and, and what time it took you, and, and yeah, why? One example, I can mention names because it's long ago. Uh, EDS was one of the first organizations that I worked with, and EDS was like top notch. Yeah? And they said, okay, we are focused. Uh, and, and we had some sort of like, we prepare everything, and we are going to think about which uh, value can we add to organization if we offer them a deal. And then the only thing we had to do was tell that to the, the, the prospects. <laughs> I have good news for you. <laughs> we are going to help you. And they were so brilliant in that, that it always worked. So they told me my job description was brilliant. Do something brilliant once a year. Okay. My boss, <laughs> handwritten, twice is also okay. <laughs> and um, so... 
uh, we came up with the plan for the insurance industry, for example, and we built that from scratch. There was nobody who was doing outsourcing in the insurance industry by that time. And we had to make it a huge part of the Dutch and the European and the, the global organization. Built that from scratch with one part-time FTE, uh, two half days a year young, for the guy and young me. And uh, after that, we I know, left this was like 1600 FTE uh, wow. working for that uh, part with, with huge deals all over the place, still counting. Uh, India was fun, HCL, also a little bit of cultural things. Uh, HCL was a very or interesting organization, very successful organization, but by that time they had like three uh, FTEs in continental Europe. Mm -hmm. Everything was out the UK, as you know. And, um, <clears throat> and they, they wanted to uh, set up a practice in continental Europe. And one of the first deals that we did was with a large insurance organization. And the Indians are like, uh, okay, tell me what you want. I'll give you the brilliant deal. But that is a little bit too much for the Dutch because we would like to drink coffee first, <laughs> once or two or three or four times. So at a certain moment that uh, insurance organization said, okay, we are open for your model, but uh, we would like to compare things. So we invite also one or two other organizations and we would like to do a couple of projects first. So my biggest challenge in fact was to convince the board that we were going to do three small deals. Yes, but Edwin, we can, <laughs> we can make them hundreds. No, we are going to do three things. And another uh, competitor uh, refused to do that. So no, no we, wanna, we, can, we can help you with huge impact, pa, 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 elevated pitch. And they, they lost the deal. And until today, I think there's still, uh, there is still a large team. I think at a certain moment, there were like 600 people working from out of India for that insurance company, years and years and years and years and years. Um, and that was not because I am so brilliant of the, the team. It was like the, the translation from the culture, from the vision from, from that insurance company towards what we could do at that moment in the proposal. And then you're there. That's the trust and the respect that you have in a team, especially in India. If, if, if you are the, the, the leader, you are the leader. If they have to follow you, they will follow you. Don't screw with them because you lose them. But if, if, if you treat them well, they will respect you and they will follow your, your track. And they have brilliant people who can come up with great proposals and, yeah. and do the follow up afterwards. So, yeah. 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 And you were the one guiding them through the process. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was my mission to, uh, to set up continental Europe for, uh, for that. Yeah. Uh, more recent, talking about examples, is, is uh, uh, with, uh, with a large data center. Yeah? Uh, small, very successful, but uh, very eager to grow, 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 grow in, in the future. And um, a very smart CEO and founder who, was, uh, he, who became aware of, okay, I am good. I'm doing the right things, but I need something extra to make that extra step. Um, invited me to uh, to help me with uh, with with him. A very 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 nice partnership. Yeah. Uh, we had lots of fun. I think the organization was four or five times bigger after one and a half year yeah. uh, of of working uh, together. It's now sold to another an investor, and it's it's it, it's huge. And, uh, he made a lot of money, so he did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did, yeah. And and what's kind of money are you talking about in terms of revenue so at the point that you left what oh yeah what was it? it 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 depends is the typical consultant answer of course it's um it, it really depends you can be you can make a huge uh huge step with, with like one to five million but sometimes it's like like with eds it was starting with 100 million and then up to a billion Huh? Yeah. I don't mind, to be honest. It's more, is there any growth in this? Is there progress you can make? You must not forget that organizations change over the years. And when the yeah. time that I was started working, it's like make the organization as big as possible, then you are successful. The IBMs, the Accentures, and what have yeah. you. And, and, and after that, we had a period where we started the Mama and Papa organizations. Uh, Mama, Il, Papa had bankrupt. And, and in between there is an, a very interesting market that I am mostly working with 
50 FTEs, 100 FTEs, two, 300 FTEs, very successful, but also very agile. And, yeah. and, and they want to grow, but they want to like grow in a structured way from 200 to 300. And that's it. Million. Yeah, a million yes, yeah. Right, uh, of people or whatever. It, it's, it's like, it, it, it's reasonable. And that because they, the founders of the high tech organizations are mostly nerds, so say in a, in a respectful way, they like to create, they like to design, they like to do things. They are not in it for the Ferrari eh, or the Lamborghini. They are in it for, wow, setting up organization. I know very successful people at the moment that they have 100 million, great. Then I can go to my friends in the bank and I can get 200 million and I can start another organization. Mm. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, and there are several of those serial entrepreneurs who are extremely successful. In my days, I have to be honest about that. At the moment, it, we had 10 million, just like moving to a place like this, buying a boat and uh, second wife and, uh, and take it from there. Yeah. 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 Not a good Still, move. Yeah. Uh, For some not people, bad as well. <laughs> not that I can recommend you, but uh, yeah, yeah, that changed. Yeah. Uh, and how does a organization go from, I mean, you are not very involved in that. Early, in those early stages in the beginning, but how do you get to that point where you have 100 million in revenue or in yeah. uh, valuation where you can actually hire a person like you? Yeah, I, I, I sometimes I talk with uh, the startups, but I, I feel slightly uncomfortable in adding value there. Why Be is that? Because it is those young guys who have to start and have to find out that the other model also works. Yeah? They strongly believe, and I, I respect that completely, in their model. And they have to find out, look at yourself, you're very successful, but you had to try different models first yeah. before you find the right formula that, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and this is now my model. And then you're successful. It's not like, okay, I'm 80, I will start here, boom, and that's like that. So that you need to give them a little bit of time. And at the moment that they go from startup to scale up, then they should be aware, and most of the are because they're very smart, hmm, maybe I need to add things in order to get them. And then it is easier for a person like me to, to join and hopefully add some value there with, uh, with them. Yeah. And then you go back to the beginning of the conversation with the vision, the dream, yeah, sure. experience, three times, uh, yeah. uh, sacked, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. yeah. And what if you, Take a look at all the projects that you've done. What are some of the worst examples? Uh, also, no name calling, but yeah. more to give an idea. Um, why did it go wrong and what went wrong? It goes wrong if I ignore uh, the gut feeling. I hate to say it, but my gut feeling is always right. It's not arrogant. It yeah. is proven. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's science. Yeah? And every time that I ignore it, no, no, give him that, no. Then I'm screwed. I am screwed because I make the mistake. No. I underestimate uh, the, 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 the long term the impact. power, yeah, but, but, but also the power of, of experience because you can smell if it's, it's going to be a success or not. It's not a guarantee, no. but the chance is, is bigger, 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 bigger. If you, yeah. Immediately makes me wonder what is it that you smell? <laughs> uh, it's like, why are you becoming friends? Why are you uh, falling in love? Why do you like a restaurant? Why do you like a person? That is something that we, we, we have that instinct. Eh? Yeah. And we, we try to, if you go to, no, if you go to your son, if, 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 if we walk somewhere, he will fall, he will roll, he will try everything. And at a certain moment, he reached at age of people and said, don't do that. Come on. <laughs> Try to sit in a decent way on that chair. Yeah. And that is where he loses his instinct because he's trying to, he will follow the rules, mm. which is good. <laughs> and hopefully he will, he will do that, of course. But in a way, there are instincts that you can still uh, use and you have to trigger them. Yeah. And it's not, and the thing is, theory, if you, carefully think about things, you will still make a mistake. If you don't think about things, you also make a mistake. So why not think, <laughs> stop thinking about things and just try on error, yeah. it's not an error. So you, mostly the feeling is right. If I ignore that, 
I'm the serious problem. Yeah. Always. And afterwards I said, shit, I knew it. The moment yeah. that I came in. Mm. Yeah. And that very depends on the experience that you have. But if you take a look at the the organization, what is something that they could identify? If they would not hire you, uh, they would probably get you those um, they will experience those moments as well and situations. So uh, what are some of the examples that usually goes wrong or is it because you identified that person yeah. as well? Yeah. And a gut, mm. gut feeling alone. Yeah, growth is a, is a, is a way of structured, a structured way of working. Yeah. And that is difficult to accept for some people. Okay. Uh, so you have to... Um, you have to be aware that it's not something that you can improvise. And you have to constantly be aware of your environment and of that. You need to have some sort of, are you open for uh, challenging, being challenged by people from, okay, we agreed on this. And you see very successful people uh, at the beginning of the end when they start collecting people around them who always agree with them. Huh? And then they think that they are always right, but nobody is always right. Yeah. Yeah? So the very smart people are working together with people who challenge them. Now, what's the difference between somebody who challenges you and somebody who's yeah, ruining your organization? Hmm. Yeah, that's difficult, that's difficult. So the, you have to find a way to have continuous improvement in your organization, continuous triggers. In, in fact, I was with an insurance company, a model that I loved very well was in fact the beginning of, of the, the digital transformation because the, the, one of the founders there, a uh, guy in his 50s, very successful marketeer, had a young lady uh, who was what he called the CFO, the chief Facebook officer. And because by that time she was one of the first who was really um, uh, experimental with, uh, with social, with Facebook in this particular case. Some people have to Google that, but um, 15 years ago it was quite hot. And she uh, had a complete blank check from, okay, find out what you can do to reach your target audience. I will do the same with my experience, and I will never judge on you. Please also don't judge on me, eh? but let us compare experience. Yeah. And then you have a complete new organization, a complete new way of working in your organization. Is it going to work? Don't know. But do you have to try it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you will lose the momentum and then you're too late. Yeah. That kind of brings me to uh, some of your previous work that you've done. You, because you worked in the past a lot with corporate organizations, right? Yeah, also. Yeah. So those very large organizations, I, I do not have the corporate career or uh, very much experience in that. So I, I am wondering if you have... Accenture, for example, which, if I'm not mistaken, they have over 700,000 every Yeah, more than 700,000 every year. How does that work? I mean, you... I, the, I don't want to know, to be honest, <laughs> uh, because it's, it's too much. But, yeah. but it, it has to do with, uh, there was a guy, Eckhart Winson, back in the days, and he came up with the shell theory and said, okay, an organization should never be bigger than like 50 FTEs. So okay. every day that you grow and your organization gets 60, Joshua, good news, then people will get out and they will set up a, a different cell, a yeah. new cell, well done, and go on and, and, and make more uh, uh, new yeah. entities. That is my model. I strongly believe that uh, small teams, uh, and much empowerment, change, 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 bam, 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 young people connected with old people. Eh? Um, that is the right model. And, but if you are huge, you will have to find a way to make sure that a lot of people are empowered. And I think Accenture is, is very successful in that, by the way. But it must be extremely tough to, to manage that, of course. Yeah. Eh? Um, but at a certain moment, <clears throat> there could be a moment when organizations start to build organizations. Then they start moving with people and they need uh, things and they need all sort of people who help them with, with, with their work. And that is the moment where you have to be very careful because it can be the beginning of, of, of the end. Yeah. If you keep that empowerment, if you keep those cells, if you keep uh, young people, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. EDS, again, was brilliant in that. Every like, three or four times a year, they come up with a new 
a group of people, like 10 yeah. or 15 uh, smart individuals, and they were becoming part of the, 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 the established teams. And yeah, you had, and the symphonic, every, every time that you bring in a young guy, like, your team also has to change because that person has to feel comfortable and uh, he has experience. I, I, I remember um, a peer to peer uh, review that I had with HR by that time. And I, I, I was quite young, uh, like uh, mid 20s. And, um, and they were. They ask people, okay, what do you think about uh, Edwin Kennedy? In several layers, and everybody said the same. He is very arrogant because he's not sharing any information. We think he's a smart guy, but he's not sharing. And my boss came to me and said, "Do you recognize it?" He said, yeah, but I completely recognize it because I, I am so young. How can I tell all the experienced people what they have to do? I, I don't want to do that. That's arrogant. So, yeah, but you don't you don't get it. That's what you have to do because you can tell us what it is from out of your age or from out of your environment, from your from out of your previous job, from your perspective. Huh? Exactly. Uh, from that moment on, I, I started sharing. Maybe a bit too much. <laughs> but I started sharing uh, uh, because that is something that you have to do. And the only thing I'm trying to do, if I see young people struggling in an organization, I encourage them. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. In the worst case, you'll make a mistake. We'll help you with that one. Don't worry about that. Eh? You can make five, ten, ten, and you'll still be there. But please share, share, share. Don't try to become like me. Add something to me. Add something to the organization. We're not looking for uh, copies. We're looking for new uh, blood, in fact. Very interesting, yeah. And um, for the, uh, I mean, if, if someone watching, um, and they would want to improve their organization. What do you have any tips for them, generally speaking? So, some books, maybe that they can read about certain methods or yeah, the, talk with others. Yeah. You know, it's it, you know, I, I love martial arts, and what you see there is that you grow in a way from the white belt to the black belt, and then you're on the sensei, etc., etc. And it, the, the 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 really big ones go to other schools go to other, if they do karate, they go to Aikido, if they are in, in Kuikushka, they go, they go to uh, uh, Kempo Karate, whatever. They try to learn from others all the time. So uh, having a drink with another organization is also working. You know, I, I absolutely try to do that once or twice a week. I try to have a conversation with somebody else from another organization. Yeah. How does your bonus plan work? Uh, are you struggling with this or that? Do we have any experience there? And we share that and we learn from each other. Yeah. Yeah. And that is something that I can highly recommend to everybody. Yeah. Talk. It's all there. Share. It's, talk, talk, listen, and share. Yeah. And, and you can read books. Think about that guy who's on vacation. And yes, you can do that, but you can also just have lunch, yeah. you know, have a drink. Buy somebody uh, two beers, have a two hour conversation, and we learn yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think books work for a lot of people, right? Because you can kind of buy that knowledge from the people that you, yeah, from the people that you can't reach at the moment, but in your circle, try to yeah, reach out. And through you, that, you, you might. You have that, that, the business trip called Azure, yeah. where you bring people together, uh, you can have your drink there, yes, but you can also find, okay, if I'm there, there will be like five, six, ten. Uh, other individuals that I can share information with. I, yeah. uh, you have experience with doing business in Germany. Can you help me with that? Most of the successful, uh, I think all of this will be more than delighted to. Uh, sure, you know, why don't you come over and I'll show you, I'll tell you, I'll give you some good advice. Yeah. Yeah. They're all happy to share. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That's my experience. Yeah. Yeah. Over the years. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's quite funny that you can kind of break it down to that because if you can adopt that mentality of not having an ego, not being arrogant in that way, no, um, you literally widen your horizon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, it's all there. Yeah. It's yeah. all there. You just have to grab and just ask for it. Yeah. But if you if you if you are creating that distance, I know everything. Look at me being rich or successful, or whatever. Yeah. People will, will take a step back and you will not get any useful feedback anymore. Yeah. You will think you're brilliant, but you're not. You're only there for a while. 
And you, there are so many examples of, uh, of very successful organizations who are not there anymore. Yeah. Because they thought they, yeah, were there. And, 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 and that's it. Yeah. Mm. That would be a set end, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had it all. And yeah. Then yeah. You lost um, it all. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what, what is it that you're working on now? What, what is next for you? Oh, yeah. Um, I, um, I, I started after an, uh, a previous assessment, I, I, I started with, uh, with, the, with the Dutch cloud community. It's a part time job. Yeah. Um, we represent that huge community, as I told you. And I'm meeting them all, actually. All right. Uh, and and all the try, members. Yeah, the members. And, and I'm trying to find that. Is there an organization that I connect with and maybe an add uh, um, uh, a value from a more personal level? So I'm talking with several organizations from out of that um, environment, but also from, from outside, and see if I can step in somewhere, working with two or three teams already, and hope to add one or two more, yeah. and then take it from there. Writing a book. Finishing a book, it's almost there. Small talk about big deals, based on uh, on, on yeah, story storytelling. What happens in real life? Yeah. Uh, in order to open people, invite people to to come up to me and ask if they want to uh, get some advice or get my opinion, and uh, hopefully inspire them a bit. Yeah. Have to do a bit of a laugh, of course. It's also a lot of fun, of course, in this in, in, in all this experience. Um, yeah. Happy with all that, yeah. No. And then see what it uh, what it brings. Mm. But is it that because the work that you do that kind of requires all your expertise and your time to be there, right? Yep. So are you then working until forever? Yeah, I I I think one of the, when I started with EDS, I had uh, three companies. So work in the US, in Europe, and in uh, APEC, Australia. Yeah. Uh, so then you have to be smart, because <laughs> if you get up at five, so there's, there's email, and if you go to bed at 12, there's still email. Uh, um, so at a certain moment, I thought, well, okay, I will, I will work from early to late and do my stuff meanwhile. I can go to the gym at 11, or walk with the dogs, or, or take a break, or whatever. I, I ignore weekends, never got that model. <laughs> so I have a span from like early in the morning to late in the evening, seven days a week. And in between, I can relax, I can go to the gym, I can sit with my family, et cetera, et cetera. That helps. Yeah. And then there's plenty of time. <laughs> but if you get frustrated that it's after five and that you have to, uh, that you want to stop working, then it's more difficult to, uh, to do that, of course. Yeah. And, um, it's a model that works for me. I never uh, push people in that same model, of course, because that, that's your choice. But it helps me very much to do a lot of things at the same time. Yeah. And I am un unbelievable curious. I'm trying to discover everything all the time, constantly. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gardner has this theory of what they call continuous next. I told you about it. And it's convinced that you have to find something what's next. At, uh, knowing that at the moment that you found it, there will be something else next. So you have to constantly learn, understand, listen, share. And uh, yeah, if you want to stay successful, then you have to invest the time there, reading things, talking to people, listening to people. Yeah. So I'm trying to do that in a way. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fun to work, to be honest. Yeah. Never. It's a cliche, yeah. but if you love what you do and then it doesn't really yeah. feel like work. Yeah. Yeah, I think in the, in the beginning of your career, you're trying to find something that you have to make a living. Eh? Yeah, sure. But you also want to feel comfortable in doing that. And if you can combine that, you're a lucky person. Yeah. yeah. And you said you mentioned that you're an investor as well. Yeah. And what, what kind of, in, uh, do you invest in people or in, in companies? Yeah, in, 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 yeah in mostly in, in organizations. And, and with that, in the, the owner, mostly. Uh, I, I am uh, at a moment, I'm doing it right now actually, but always open for more. Uh, connecting with an owner, Stefan, okay, I, I am successful, I have a very uh, successful organization, but yeah. I want to do this, I want to go abroad, I want to grow, I want to do two times. I, I noticed that I missed that kind of, can you help me with that? Yeah. And then we have those two, three, four, five, whatever it takes, conversations to find out if we can craft something. And, uh, and if we don't, we put something on paper. 
to good advice, put things on paper first. <laughs> I forgot that at the beginning. Uh, but if you do that, then it's safe. And then you can Putting take things on paper, you mean contracts and yeah, really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> written. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Contracts are things that you have to put on paper at the moment that you don't have to put things on paper. Yeah. 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 Right. Then it's easy. Yeah. Afterwards, it's, uh, it's more challenging. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a, a tip when you are drafting a, an, an agreement or a, a contract? Because I, I can imagine that quite a lot of people struggle with that paperwork. In yeah, yeah, I, 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 the, the, the uh, lawyers hate me because I tell them, okay, this is what you have to put on paper, make it legal. And that saves like 10, or 10 uh, conversations and thousands of, of dollars uh, for them. But you have to be able to put it in like one or two cents. This is what should be on paper. Yeah. Please. And then they have their legal stuff because they have studied for it. They are the sure. specialists. But I know exactly what it has to be, that it has to be on paper. Yeah. Come on, help me with that. Yeah. And, and then they're fine. And what does that usually look like for you, for example? Uh, what is it that you most mostly focus on? Is that a percentage of the shares or a commission? Shares. Or? Yeah, yeah, shares. It, it, you, you can ask money, which is good, of course, but then it's out of pocket money for the for the for the organization, and they will lose it. And if and they, I can imagine that if it's if it's tougher, then it's a like, okay, okay. Uh, do we want to spend this money? So then it's better to do something with the with shares, and yeah. then give me like ten or fifteen percent of the organization. If it's successful, I will make a shit lot of money. I will use have a huge pile of, uh, of money. And if it's not successful, the both of us have a problem. Yeah. Skin in the game, shared risk, shared reward, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. We'll see a bingo again. Um, but it helps because then uh, I have to spend a lot of time yeah, in their organization, more than happy to do it. Uh, but uh, um, uh, you, they want to feel that okay he is really investing time he's not getting anything if it's not working so in a way they feel the confidence from okay if, if i'm in there i have skin in the game yeah are you with me um, it helps it helps yeah so but, but that kind of comes down to deal making actually yeah 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 and uh when you help organizations you do a lot of the commercial improvements as well mm -hmm. Um, does deal is deal making a big part of helping commercial organizations improve? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Because the two ends, eh? one is the, the, the qualification and the focus. What are we going to sell uh, to, to who? Uh, why, why is he going to choose for us? Yeah. How can we win this deal? Uh, are, we, are we sure that we are on the same track? Do we have, can we, what, why yeah. not a competitor? All that stuff. Tough conversations in the beginning, but it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in the end, it is the, the closing is perhaps the, 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 the toughest part of a negotiation, of course. Yeah. Because you have to ask for that deal. You have to be proud of the price that you present. You have to, at certain moments, you have to walk away. Yeah. You have to be able to walk away. Mm. Or they have to feel that you can walk away. Yeah. Because at a certain moment, it is it, is it you know? Yeah. And um, if, you, if you sign a deal that you feel uncomfortable with, you'll go back to that conversation that we had half an hour ago, that you are doing something with somebody that you feel uncomfortable with, and then you will know after a while um, the, 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 yeah, you will feel very uncomfortable in, 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 the, in the partnership. Yeah. And then there will be lawyers involved, etc. People will go bankrupt, etc., etc. Yeah, not good. No. no. Yeah. So now that that makes uh, total sense. Um, so for if you would have a advice for someone looking to improve themselves in a sales team, mm -hmm. uh, what is it? That you would recommend. Yeah, talk with others, listen talk to with others. Talk with others as well. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, it, it's, it's sorry to be so boring. Uh... Yeah, but, but that's what you have to do. At the moment that you think you can do it alone, you are so screwed. Yeah? Um, I, I, I had with the previous organization, there were some huge deals. And, and there was a huge deal at the moment which really uh, changed my career. But Years later, you find out that it was like they could choose between 
me and another organization at a certain moment. Yeah. And the choice was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I really have to choose, okay, I will go for this guy and not for this guy. Because only because they had to choose one instead of two. So it's a very, very, very thin line between uh, all or nothing. Yeah. And um, uh, at the, the fact that you have two drills on a row or something is not a guarantee that you are successful. Eh? Yeah. You're doing well at that moment. Yeah. But there's always things that you can learn. Eh? There's always people that you can help. It, it, it doesn't matter if, if, if you have a sales team with 10 individuals and there are two or three not performing, it, it helps to help them eh? yeah. and not to uh, keep distance from them because it, it's far easier if you have 10 individuals being successful instead of two or three. Yeah. So work together, share, listen to others, respect others, um, try to understand that new thing that is there. Eh? And not from okay, I know it all, and uh, and uh, I'm not gonna listen to others. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And well, can people contact you then? Yeah, sure, of course, yeah. Yeah. always, yeah. always. Yeah, yeah. Great. And, and I is the, I saw that in a in a different podcast. But do you have a question for the next guest? And we, yeah. we don't know who the next. We, we don't next, know who the next guest is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What yeah. is it that you would like to share or ask? person yeah um that's very much depending on who it is and what it represents because that makes I'm, it difficult i'm very curious about uh, in, in 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 other uh, uh models you know other industries so if it's somebody from that i would love to hear uh, about the, his experience or her experience of course um but i think the last question that you ask is is the most relevant one what can we learn from you and mm -hmm. there is and are you open to do it because I think most people are willing to share information, eh? but for some reason, hardly anybody is doing that. Eh? So this platform is great. It's just ask people, yeah. and they can uh, you can listen or look or not, uh, or whatever, whatever you feel comfortable uh, with. But at least it's there. Yeah. yeah. And um, so I would, I mean, you will probably do that. Ask that individual all about his experience, her experience, her advice, etc., uh, etc. Yeah. And if you give me the name and the industry, I will come up with a concrete question. <laughs> but until that time, you have to do it with that. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. I think we covered most of it. I mean, there is there is hours left mm -hmm. to talk uh, and go into the the nitty and gritty and all the details of all those deals that you structure. But I think that's better to save that for your book. Yeah. Small talk about big deals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll definitely uh, link it. Well, when is it going to be ready? When is it going to be published? You think? Yeah, it's almost there. It's like tuning and Three editing. Three right? Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah it's, but it's 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 also a focus, of course. Yeah, but, sure. uh, soon, two three soon. months or something. Right. Or summer. Yeah. Very much looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, and uh, let's you. go out for dinner because yeah. now it's family time again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>